Hey there, this video is all about our hips. And if you're working to gain some range of motion and improve your flexibility in that area, I suggest doing this video four to seven times per week. It's short and sweet, but 15 minutes, and you'll really notice some results that way. So join me in a squat position. We call this malasana or yogi squat. If your heels don't touch the floor to start off, no worries. Keep your hands on the mat to, to support you with your balance. And if your heels do touch the floor, that's great as well. Just make yourself comfortable here. And if, and if this is really, really uncomfortable to start off with, um, I suggest just rocking from side to side a few times, swiveling the hips in their sockets, and that's going to ease some of the pressure and the, and the compression that you feel in the hips and just get the, get the, hips, the hip sockets lubricated a little more. And if your heels are really lifted and you wanna roll your mat, under like this or over like this, prop your heels up. That works okay too. Or you can even sit a block underneath your bum to sit here and, and um, to give you that extra support so you're not, so it's not so much weight pushing down into the hips. We're gonna spend about five full minutes in variations of this pose. So <laughs> I say get comfortable, but by the end of five minutes, it's not comfortable. It's just not comfortable, especially when you're first starting out. So throughout the five minutes, if you need to periodically come out, lift your hips a bit, go ahead, but come right back in. Stay as long as you can, um, as long as you can in the depth of the squat. From here, we're gonna start by just doing some opening and closings with our, with our knees. So you push the knee up to the side, whatever your range of motion is. Notice how far you can push it without feeling pain or, or, any, or too much pressure on the outer hips. You might be able to straighten your arm or you might only have a very limited range of motion at this moment and that's okay. Go with what you're, what you're comfortable with and then hold it out to your maximum range. Leaning back away from that knee, maybe looking up over the shoulder. Make sure you're breathing here. So if you're, if you're holding your breath, the body resists the pose and will just keep holding tension, keep holding things tighter. So make sure you're, you're breathing, you're um, feeling calm in the pose. And then release back to center. Take a breath in, lengthen your spine. And we'll go to the other side. Same thing here, that in and out motion. Remember not to force it. If you're only getting a little bit of movement to start off, that's okay. Just work with that. Go to your maximum range in and out. If you're getting a little more full range of motion, if you're able to lengthen the arm more, push into that. Once you've found your maximum range, hold it there, breathe. You can be looking down at the mat or you might even turn to look over your shoulder a bit. Avoid kinking the neck in an awkward position. So keep the head and, and uh, neck in, a, in the most neutral position that you can find here. And then release back to center. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, fold forwards. Let the head and shoulders round down towards your mat. So your back becomes shaped like a C, like the letter C. Big rounded spine, shoulders hunch forwards. Even let your head drop forward so your chin tucks in towards your chest. And take big deep breaths into the back side of the body. Breathing in, fill the back side. And exhale, relax the front side. Relax your head closer to the mat. Take five more breaths like that. Reel yourself back up tall. So you might be starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's normal. <laughs> Trust me though, over time, even after a, a week or two of practicing this pose on a regular basis, this deep squat position, you'll open up quite quickly if you're doing it on a regular basis. This time, hand goes on to the top of the knee or the thigh and you give yourself a little twist. You use this arm to assist you to roll your shoulder back, look back. You can stay here for a few breaths or if the bind is accessible here, which the opposite arm reaches out and around 
the front of the knee and this arm comes around behind and we work to clasp fingers. If you can't quite clasp fingers, that's okay. You can grab a strap or you can just hold your shirt tail or pant leg. Take a few breaths there, looking over your shoulder. Unwind back to center and again lengthen, stretch long. And twist to the other side, again with hand on the near thigh or working towards the bind. So the bind, you really need to stretch forwards. Your armpit goes right into the front of your knee or shin. We reach around, you should be able to pat your bum cheek and the other arm goes around and we, and we work towards being able to bind the fingers. Awesome job, that's five minutes already. From here, slowly lengthen your legs up. So you're gonna roll the weight forwards into the balls of the feet, hands on the mat, and slowly lift your hips up. Slowly lengthen, once your legs are straight, let your hips sway to one side and then the other. Let your whole upper body dangle forwards. Heel toe your feet back towards one another. And walk your hands up your legs to come to stand. So next position here. It's kind of a lunge. We start out with both knees bent to begin. And so my right leg is forwards, my left leg is back. My left hand comes to the back of my thigh or fingers even down onto the back of the calf, ideally. From here, find your balance and start to breathe. Drishti or your eyes focused on one spot is super important in this pose because it's a lot of balance work. And you're going to feel a, a major stress and opening through the front of this hip. It turns into a pretty deep back bend here as we, as we breathe and move into it. So the goal here is to start lengthening out your front leg. We're high on the back toes, our weights, our, our hand, our back hand is taking a fair amount of weight here. And the front knee can stay as bent as you need it to, but over time, as you start to lean back and breathe into it, you begin to lengthen that front leg more and more. You'll feel the body temperature rising here. You'll get hot. <laughs> Breathing in and out. Take five more breaths here. Notice my right hand supporting my head. That feels really helpful for me. Bend the front knee as you come up. Stay in this position. We're going to twist to the other side. So now the right hand comes to the back of that thigh. Left hand comes behind my head and we start to lean back the other way. Breathe. Breath is most important here. And again, we can work towards lengthening out that front leg a bit. rise back up and come to center. Deep squat here. Knees are at about 90 degrees. Take a breath in and exhale. Hands to the heart. One side probably burning a little bit. That is a really opening, strongly opening pose, but at the same time we're using and recruiting a lot of muscles to hold ourselves there. And go to the other side. So we turn into a lunge, both knees bent. Remember, the goal here is to eventually lengthen out the front leg, but in order to start off, we need to have the front knee bent for stability. And we'll start with the right hand on the, on the back of our thigh and our left hand behind our head for support. And you start to lean back. Eventually, your hand might go onto the back of your calf. Eventually, your hand might go all the way back to your heel. Not so easy. 
eyes steady, breath steady is super, super important. Then we're going to come up and go to the other side. So <laughs> catch your balance. So left hand crosses behind onto the back of your right thigh, right hand to support your head if you want, or it can just drape across you if you prefer. away from one another, come into your deep squat, deep breaths in and out, lift your leg, lift your hips, straighten your legs, turn your toes in so that your feet are parallel and fold forwards here. Roll the weight forwards into the balls of your feet, let your heels be a bit light and fold even deeper. Lengthen out your spine, walk your feet together, <laughs> drop your knees to the floor, and from here we'll lean back into reclining hero's pose. Let's take a look at my timer. Um, so we're only spending two minutes in each of these poses. If you want, you can spend longer, but um, with the opening that we just did, the more activation type of opening, just two minutes here to lengthen out a little more, and that should be good. If you combine this practice, this 15, short 15-minute 15 practice daily, um, on top of that, if once or twice a week you're doing a yin class, then that will be a really good balance to improving your, your overall flexibility throughout, throughout the body. You can come to your elbows if that feels good. If you're home and you've got access to some pillows, Throw a pillow underneath you to make it a little bit hap a little bit uh, happier and a little bit comfier. <laughs> We're gonna stay here for one more minute. Relax. As you relax, let your breath come all the way down to the front of your hips, front of your thighs, front of your knees. Obviously, our lungs don't go that far, but just imagine that your whole body is blowing up as you breathe in and relaxing, releasing as you breathe out. Three more breaths. And like I said, you can stay here longer. Just hit pause on the video and stay for a couple of extra minutes if you prefer. But for the sake of time, we're being very time effective with this practice, hitting a little bit of everything. Um, from here, just take a quick little twist. Your twist can look something like this, or it can look something like this, one leg long. We'll do both sides. One more time to the other side, but this time we're going to lean the opposite way. Lean back, twist, look back. Notice how my hip is lifted right up off the floor so that all my weight is on the right side as I lean towards the right and look back. And come back to center, little twist to the other side. So if the right leg is going over, we're leaning towards the left here. Right hand pushing the right knee away, right hip lifting right up on top of the left. Look back, twist back. And again, right back to center. We've got one minute left here. I'm going to end us in a wide leg forward fold. Um, but you can stay, again, you can stay a little bit longer if you'd like. Um, my suggestion here is to spend at least a minute or two. And again, if you've got pillows to use, if you're at home and, you, and you've got access to a couple of couch cushions, then use this to make the pose a little more relaxing. If the backs of your legs are feeling really tight, you might want to start 
just leaning over one side for four or five breaths. Come back to center, lean to the other side for four or five breaths. Back to center and then lean forwards from there. Let me know how you make out with this. Let me know um, if you found it effective and let me know how else I can support you. Have a really great day.